The special guest of honor, His Excellency Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, now, Amenu President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the Senate President, Distinguished Senator Godzul Fabio, ably represented by Senator Barao Gibran, CON, the Speaker, the student members, please permit me to stand on the already established protocols. Being today, Another sorrowful day where we come to mourn together with the families of our deceased colleagues who died in the line of duty. Today we gather here with heavy hearts and tear filled eyes to bid farewell to our fallen heroes, the brave men of the armed forces of Nigeria who made the ultimate sacrifice in defense of our nation. We stand here in honor of their courage, dedication, and unwavering commitment to duty. Their lives were abruptly taken from us in the line of duty while on a peace mission at Okoma Community in Delta State on 14 March 2023. We are gathered here not only to mourn their loss, but also to celebrate their lives and extraordinary contribution to our beloved nation. We are gathered here today not only as grieving family members, friends, and colleagues, but also as a nation united in sorrow. These fallen heroes exemplify the very best of service to a nation and the love for country. They were the vanguards of peace, the guardians of our freedom, and the sentinels of our security. Their selflessness and unwavering dedication to duty will forever be etched in the house and our memories. To the beloved families who have lost their loved ones, we extend our deepest condolences. We are in this together. We cannot begin to fathom the pain and sorrow that you are experiencing. Please know that you are not alone in our grief, as the entire nation, as exemplified by the President and Commander-in-Chief, and the Armed Forces mourn you with, and stand ready to support you in every way possible. We recognize that no words can ease your pain but we hope that you find solace in the knowledge that your loved ones made an indelible mark on our nation's history. To our fallen heroes, we say thank you. Thank you for your unwavering commitment to duty, your sacrifices, and your love for our nation. You serve bravely, and your courage will never be forget, forget, forgotten. We will honor your memory by continuing the fight against those who seek to undermine our peace and security. We will remain steadfast in our resolve to build a nation worthy of your sacrifice. This sacrifice will not go in vain. The loss we feel today is immeasurable, but we must not allow it to dim the light of our renewed hope within us. Instead, let us use this moment as a rallying cry to come together as a nation to support our armed forces and to walk tirelessly towards a Nigeria free from the grip of violence and insecurity. We owe it to these fallen heroes to honor their memory by redoubling our efforts to create a safer and more prosperous nation for all. Let us build a nation where every citizen can live without fear, where communities can thrive, and where our children can grow up knowing the true meaning of security and stability. To the men and women who continue to serve in the armed forces, I want to express my deepest gratitude for your dedication to duty. Your commitment to defending our nation, even in the face of great peril, is truly commendable. You carry the torch that our fallen heroes have passed on, and we stand by your side as you confront the challenges that lie ahead. Indeed, the world is a dangerous place. We together, working together hand in hand, will make Nigeria better, and indeed, the entire nation. To the perpetrators of this violence who seek to sow division and fear among our people, take this from me. Our resolve will not wither. We will hunt you down. We will bring you to justice. And we will restore peace and security to every nook and cranny of our dear nation. Your evil actions may cause pain and suffering. 
but they will never extinguish the spirit of unity and resilience that bonds within us. Whoever is supporting them, either directly or indirectly, in every way, rest assured, we will get them, we will smoke them out wherever they are, and those who are offering them any support will face the music. That we guarantee. Finally, let us once again pay tribute to the men and women who have given their lives in the service of our nation. May their souls find eternal rest, and may their families find comfort in the knowledge that their loved ones are heroes, forever remembered and cherished. As we bid them farewell, let us pledge to carry their legacy forward, to walk towards a Nigeria that is peaceful, prosperous, and secure. Once again, I want to thank His Excellency, the Commander-in-Chief, for taking time out to be with us, and all members of the Cabinet, and everyone that has been here, to reassure you that the Armed Forces remain focused, committed, in ensuring that we guarantee peace and security in our dear country, Nigeria. May God bless our fallen heroes, their families, and our great nation, Nigeria. Thank you, and God bless you.